Hi, this is Brian Lazar with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. And we've got a generally deep and stable snowpack. Uh, you can see from our homepage map here that a large portion of the state sits at low danger, which is generally safe avalanche conditions. We do have a few areas uh, in the front range in the Vale, some county zone that are hanging on to moderate danger. And that's largely due from the small amounts of snow we got on Tuesday and Wednesday. That did lead to some drifting and produced some small avalanches in the storm snow in steep rocky terrain that looks like this. Um, this uh, problem is generally running its course and we should be back at low danger by the time we head into the weekend. Um, but here's some examples of avalanches that ran just over the last uh, few days when we got that snowfall on Tuesday and Wednesday. You can see that our snowpack across the state is sitting uh, above average, so we've got deep snow. Uh, the weak layers are buried pretty deep and they're very hard to impact. And so, so they're gonna be safe for you to be able to trigger an avalanche, which is great. This is a great time to get out and recreate. So we do have some weak snow surfaces out there. Some of that's making for some really nice riding conditions on uh, the shadier slopes that don't have the crust. This is not a problem right now while it's on the surface, but you can see we've got this weak snow there. And so once we get new snow on top of that uh, weak snow surface, we're gonna see an uptick in avalanche activity. But given the current weather pattern, it doesn't look like we're gonna see enough snowfall to produce much of an avalanche concern into February. We do have a little bit of snowfall coming into the state on the 27th and the 28th. Here I'm playing a simulation of a numerical weather model. You can see the storm system rolls through on the 27th and 28th, generally deposits around one to three inches of snow across most mountain areas. That's not going to be enough to impact the avalanche danger. However, we could see another little cycle of very small avalanches like what we saw uh, just a few days ago. So for right now, um, is you can't turn your brain off because it's low danger. You still want to worry about the consequences of small avalanches in very steep consequential terrain. Remember, even a small slide can lead to very bad outcomes if you're above terrain traps like steep rocky areas, cliffs, or trees and gullies. Um, other than that, you know, this is a really good time to get out there and enjoy the snowpack. And until we get more snow, which doesn't look like it's going to happen until February, conditions should remain generally stable. So everyone enjoy. Um, you can check for updates, particularly as this weak little system brushes through the state on Thursday and Friday to make sure there aren't any surprises. Get your forecast at colorado.gov slash avalanche or on the CAIC mobile app. Uh, enjoy all the uh, snow out there and we will see you next week.